video is literally just going to be me gushing about Saga and why it's so amazing. Good morning and welcome to Library Scented Life. If you're new here, my name is Sydney. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and let's get right into it. So today I wanted to talk about my favorite graphic novel series and that is Saga. So my first and second volume are actually with a friend right now because I'm making her read it. So Saga is a graphic graphic novel. Saga is a graphic novel. <laughs> so Saga is a graphic novel written by Brian K. Vaughn and illustrated by Fiona Staples. So 54 issues have come out of Saga so far and those were split up into eight volumes that have been released every six months or so and the reason I'm doing this video is because Volume number 9 is coming out October 2nd of this year. So Saga mainly follows two characters, Alana and Marco, who are both from people from opposite sides of a war that's been going on for years between a planet and its moon. And so these two fall in love and they end up having a child named Hazel. And Hazel is a sign of peace between the two warring people. So there are lots of people who are after them to kill the baby and kill them so that no one will see it as a sign of peace and as a sign of the end of the war. So the whole story is following their family, trying to live a normal life and evade all these people trying to attack their family and break them apart. So this is their story and trying to stay together. I would describe Saga as a sci-fi drama that relies and builds on the most basic human emotions and experiences. It follows birth, love, hatred, lust, violence, desperation, death, and grief, all these emotions that we know to be human, and this results in non-human characters that are very human to the readers. So this story talks about the true eclectic aspect of families, so it's going by chosen family as well as blood family, and choosing those to protect us and to go on our journey with. So something I found interesting about this graphic novel series is we learn about the vulnerabilities, the sadnesses, and the joys of all the characters that it talks about, including our antagonists to the point where we are cheering for both the antagonist and the protagonist, even though they have intersect interests that would mess up each other's desires. So before I go any further, Saga is rated M for mature and for a good reason. It shows very graphic violence and very graphic sexual scenes as it is a comic book. It does illustrate people having sex and people's fetishes and just you see a lot of things. So for that reason, you should not read this if you are under the age of 18. And while the sexual nature and violent nature of these comic books makes it hard to read in public, like I wouldn't read this on the bus because then you open the page and there's genitals and that's really awkward for other people to see. But I think because it makes it hard to read in public, it makes it more real. We see these characters fighting for what they believe in, and then going to do a mundane task like making food or going grocery shopping. We see these characters breaking down and crying, we see them having sex, and we see them making both minor and major mistakes and dealing with the results of those mistakes. All of these vulnerabilities make these characters grow into real people, and that makes it much easier to connect with them as readers. And not only connect to them thinking we have similarities in our personalities, but on a much deeper level because they are human at their core. Even if they're technically not human, they are aliens. This story encapsulates the different struggles and experiences of many different kinds of people in many different situations, and it makes us cry, it makes us angry, I've closed the book with a smile, I've closed the book screaming. There are so many different experiences to read about and so many different characters that you connect with on such a deep level. It's a very personal reading experience. Brian K. Vaughn, who is the writer, writes such realistic dialogue. The character Characters are so fleshed out and so unique that you could pick up a dialogue box and tell who said it without looking at the picture. And Fiona Staples does an amazing job illustrating this. She is such a great artist. She takes different colors and a whole panel is usually one base color. And then you turn a couple of pages and the base color is completely different as the scene and the characters are different. And the colors tend to really suit the mood. And another really interesting thing is the angles in which we are looking at the picture. So for example, this one on the back, they're falling. We're looking a bit from underneath and we can see both their faces and it's just a really unique angle and it's always like that and it always adds to the story a bit more in that we can see unique things and from a unique perspective. Another great part about Saga is that not only does it talk about the base emotions and experiences, but also the more unique ones and the more marginalized ones. Since this is such an otherworldly graphic novel, I think it sets the reader in a position where if they're uncomfortable with something it talks about, we are 
disconnected from the otherworldliness, but we are still connected because the characters are so human. So it puts us in a place where we can analyze and think about different situations and still be comfortable if any of the taboo subjects it touches upon make you uncomfortable. So Saga includes sex trafficking, LGBTQ plus characters, PTSD, war-torn villages and how war affects different people different ways, pacifism, substance use, abortion, sex work, and so many other things. This graphic novel really stays relevant to our time instead of just space-time that they're in um, because it touches on issues that the world is still facing and having troubles coming to terms with. Another thing about Saga is that it is so hard to put down once you pick up. If I get a new volume, I read it beginning to end in one sitting, so overall I would say Saga is a beautiful and real and harsh, vulnerable look at an eclectic family trying to stay together in a world that wants to tear them apart. So I recommend Saga to anyone over the age of 18, but I'm going to go a bit more specific in who I recommend this to. I recommend this to anyone looking for characters to connect with. I recommend this to someone looking for adventures and antagonists that are just as relatable as the protagonist. I recommend this to someone looking for something romantic or even just weird in general. I recommend this to anyone who loves sci-fi and following different species of aliens and going to different planets and discovering new worlds. Anyone who loves fantasy, um, anyone who loves loves technology, there's so much in this, which is why even though I'm going into specifics, it still sounds like I'm recommending this to everyone. So I highly, highly recommend Saga. All of them have been five stars for me, and that's actually really rare. So please go pick this up, and then on October 2nd, when the new one comes out, we can read it together. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching me gush about my favorite graphic novel series. Please like and subscribe if you liked it and if you want to, and please leave a comment letting me know have you read Saga? What do you think about it? Do you love it as much as me, or is it a one star for you? Let's have a discussion down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm so excited to see you in my next video. Bye!